Guys, I'm going to go through something here in just a minute. Something I caught and I didn't think about till just now. Now, in just a minute, he's going to get to the point where he's going to show us about uh, the oily substance down inside uh, the red dot. Now, that there's uh, uh, unique. Turn that up. There's, there's red dot. Now, he, uh, look how oily the, the sign that says red dot is. See that oil down there? Now, I want you to stop and look at what he's doing. What kind of a bullet are they showing us? They are showing us rifle bullets. Now, most people, when you do rifle, you also lubricate the, the case on the outside and the inside. And you do it on the inside so that that uh, expander ball goes down there and doesn't get stuck because you got a lot more area there to expand. Well, it's not really expanding that much, but it's a, it's a better chance of getting it stuck in there. So, where did this grease come from? First, I was thinking, well, maybe at one time that uh, maybe they took and uh, had some lube bullets and they wiped the lube off and then decide to throw them in with the other powder coated ones and uh, powder coat them and then that came through the thing after it was melted. But no, because if, if, if it had been bullet lube, uh, after it melted, it would be hard and sticky. Now this kind of lube, it looks like it's on that, on that piece of paper and it's picking up the, um, the powder, the gunpowder there. That is more in, in uh, tune with the lube that you put into your the inside of your cartridge case to uh, have the bullet slide in easier. That's what it looks like. Now some people are really cautious about how they reload stuff. Other people are more haphazard about it. And it kind of looks like that might have been the, the problem here because that doesn't it doesn't look right. My cat's getting a little. See how wet, wet the left side of the the paper that says red dot is? Like three quarters of it's wet, and then you get that one dry spot to the right. And you get that wet stuff down at the bottom. And to me, that's more of a bullet case lube. That's what it looks like. It has nothing to do with the powder coating in general. But if you get that stuff in there, yeah, it's going to do. It's going to do just this. It's going to contaminate things because they got too much lube in there. You can't overdo it on those lube brushes. And I think that's uh, the what we've been looking at all along. We just didn't see it the first time around because we weren't thinking. You know, we're thinking in general generalities, and for a pistol, you're not you're most of the time people you're not lubing the the inside of the case, but on rifle, pretty much almost everybody does that. I don't particularly, um, and if I do, it's very, very, very light. I'm I'm cautious about that because I didn't want the the powder to ever get contaminated. So I think that is the culprit there, and not the so-called powder combining with the powder coating and dissolving it and stuff. Uh, what you could do is take one of your powder coated bullets, put a dab of um, uh, uh, case lube on, 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 on one part of it and stand it on top of a uh, white cloth you know, a white piece of paper and see what it looks like in the morning. Okay guys, uh, that's my two cents for tonight. Thanks for watching.